Hello everybody and welcome to Misfit Animal Ranch. I'm hanging out here with my little man, Pistachio. You want to take my whole hand? He's like a boy. Hi everybody and welcome to our vlog. I'm Stacy and this is Misfit Animal Ranch and this one is Pistachio. He's making a little mess. So he's our sulcata tortoise. He's an African spurred tortoise. They get the spurred name. You want this? I gotta pay attention because the, he'll eat my fingers otherwise. Um, they get their spurred name from these spurs that go up and down their front and back feet. There you go. Their legs, if you can see them as he moves. Pistachio is only eight years old. We got him from someone, um, well, honestly, we got him from a, a someone who had a pet store. And he was roaming around the pet store, and we asked if we could have him. And because I love my tortoise. Uh, he is only eight years old right now, but he can grow. Are you going to eat that? He can grow, or he can grow. <laughs> he can be as old as 70 years old. Uh, that's about as, as old as they get. He is the third largest turtle, tortoise, I should say. He's the third largest land tortoise. Um, all tortoise are turtles, but not all turtles are tortoise. It's very confusing, but uh, so he is a turtle, and he's also a tortoise. The turtles and tortoise, their big main, main difference is that um, tortoise are 100% um, land animals, and then turtles um, can be land and water. And then tortoise are always herbivores, and turtles can be both herbivores or omnivores, uh, meaning they can eat, you know, meat as well. Uh, they say sometimes, if you want to know the difference between a turtle and a tortoise, feed it meat. If it eats meat, it's a turtle. <laughs> if it doesn't, then it's a tortoise. So, um, that being said, he's the third largest after the Galapagos and the Algebra tur turtles and tortoise, uh, land tortoise. He is, however, the largest tortoise in Africa. So, um, and he is not full grown yet. He still got, can grow about another 10 inches around or so. He could range, because he's a male and they tend to be a lot larger, he could range up to 200 pounds. Right now he's probably about 80 pounds. I don't have anything delicious, my love. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So you'll notice these two protrusions here. Those are actually for protection and fighting. Um, how he protects himself when he is battling another male is they use those and they'll actually go up underneath their shell right here because it what connects their shell, which is actually connected to their spine, their spine is actually in their shell. It is a t physically attached to their shell. So if uh, he gets injured, his shell gets injured, then so does his spine. Um, his spine could get injured. Now, what they do is they dig up under right there. Oh, he's got the cutest nose, too, by the way. Oh, no, we lost him. Uh, he's got the... Um, so what they, what the, the tortoise do was they come under here and they poke under there and what they try to do is they try to break that membrane between the shell and the body and the skin. Now if they break the skin, just the skin, there's a better chance of them surviving um, an attack like that. However, if they break the skin from the shell, there is a lesser chance of them surviving because it cannot heal as well. Skin against skin can heal. If we were to um, take him to the vet, they would be able to stitch him up. But if we took him to the vet with um, the skin to the shell, there's no way for them to attach the skin back to the shell and he will, would likely die. And males are, do tend to fight quite a bit. They are voracious eaters. Um, they're always walking around eating at all times. That's all they do is they walk and eat and walk and eat and walk and eat. He gets all of his or a lot of his water from the foods that he intakes. And when he pees, he pees. <laughs> Let me tell you. He will probably be eating for the rest of this video, by the way. Um, so. 
I was discussing his peak, and his peak, I usually go through about four towels a day on his pee, cleaning it up because there's so much of it. Now the reason why he's inside the gift shop right now is because um, six months or so out of the year, he is in the gift shop and the rest of the time he is out uh, outside, but it has to be at least 55 degrees for him to be able to be outside. Otherwise it's too cold and he'll start to go into what's called brumation. And what brumation is, is basically a form of hibernation for tortoise. I don't think you can see me yet, buddy. You always have to be in the shop, don't you? I also want to make a comment about how to tell tortoise from turtles is also their feet. They have basically elephant-like feet. If you notice when he walks, he's got giant elephant feet. Um, and uh, that is one way to tell a tortoise from a turtle is turtles have individual little phalanges and they've got big giant feet which are the cutest things ever. Um, so when he does go outside, he's more likely to drink water from puddles or off of leaves, things like that. That's where he'll get a lot of his water from. He'll also be eating a lot less greens that we'll be feeding him and he'll be eating a lot of grass. Uh, today he went outside and he was loving it, and um, he was just eating grass all day long. So he was a very happy boy. But he got to do something else that's going to entertain him. Otherwise, they're not going to come back and see you. So he can feel everything that we do. Because the zip that's attached to their spine, they can feel everything. So you can scratch him when you come visit. You can pet him. He doesn't typically like his feet or hands or arms being pet. Um, we do try to pet the top of his head to try to get him to um, get used to that. We also um, do wash him down when it gets warm out. We put him outside um, if it's not too warm to go outside all the time. And then we dunk him in water and he gets back. Right now he is a dirty little bubble and we haven't scrubbed him down yet. But when we do give him back, we actually go into every little crevice and we scrub him down with a little scrub brush because he can get very dirty. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed our video. I didn't want to keep it too long and not entertain you too much. I know he is entertainment enough. <laughs> um, but if you want to, you can go to our online store, which I'm going to put the link below right here, and you can buy your own um, little pistachio. And we can have, ship it to you or you can come pick it up anytime. And if you don't want to buy the big one, you can buy the big one. Thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to check out our Facebook page and our website, MrAnimalRanch.com and Facebook.com slash MrAnimalRanch.